Shalom, given all praise to Yahweh, Bashman, Shah, Bashman, Hakatash. And the title of the video. I was going to give it another title, but I put this, I put the word blind up. I don't know what I'm going to do this. I didn't check check these scriptures out. I just put the word up and uh, 82 times. The word blind is in the scriptures in the Old and New Testament. So I'm just going to cherry pick some scriptures. Oh, this is a good one too. But this is the title. I was eyes to the blind and feet was I to the lame. And now lame can mean two things. You know, lame is like a form of cripple, but lame is somebody that's just lame. They they can't get it. Now, if you're blind and lame and are ultimately of the elect, you're going to come into this thing. Um, let's deal with when we first got on YouTube. YouTube was set up in uh, 20, 2005. The first Israelite, Israelite groups that, that put up uh, what we knew about YouTube but at that time it was a joke you know it was like pretty much like TikTok you had uh, 10 minute videos and they were very grainy you know now you got the high definition and you, you can uh, you, there's some videos they do for 4 hours you know live streams and all that but the first Hebrew the first Israelite group that uh, I'm talking about from the one west is I was, I'm not sure whether it was uh, IUIC, which I didn't, I don't even think they were called, I, maybe they were, I don't know. IUIC and um, and GOCC. And I believe the HOI was kind of up in there too. But I remember watching YouTube and noticing IUIC videos and uh, GOCC videos. And I remember that uh, IUIC, we used to go, well, when we set up videos, when we set up a, a first account, it was one account that we had. I even forget the name. Um, we would be aware of uh, uh, IUIC and GOCC. And um, I remember when um, IUIC, they didn't have all this technical wizard, wizardry. They didn't have the the garments, and all, you know, the the, the so-called order. It was just it was just uh, currently Bishop Nathaniel and um, and Yawasap Bishop Yawasap. He's a bishop now. Um, and there might have been a couple other brothers, but that's when um. The so-called IUIC, the IUIC was a skeleton crews, a handful of guys. And I, we remember um, how we used to go on this, on this site and people would ask questions. The first thing they would say is, where's the rest of the video? It'd be a 10 minute video. And then all of a sudden there wouldn't be a part two. So people would say, well, where's the rest of the video? They would have a uh, a website that you can go to, and they would sell you the breakdowns. Yeah, learn Revelation this, and learn Daniel that. And they would put a price on it. So that pretty much was for money, you know. The scriptures say, "Buy the truth and sell it not." And outside of that, people would ask questions about the scriptures. They would ask other questions, and we. We remember, we remember there was no 
response. Because at that time, I guess, you know, Bishop, currently Bishop Nathaniel, I guess he figured it was going to open up, but it didn't. So we really didn't care about the, the comments. But we used to go there and answer people's questions. This is the truth. We used to go go there and ask people, you know, random people questions. We didn't do that on the GOCC site, but we did it on the IUIC site. And then that's when we had the back and forth with the IUIC mainly. And then the oh, and then ISUPK came about uh after us. And that's when um uh, General, his title is General Johanna, Johanna, as this guy was saying. So I met him. He was out there with a skeleton crew, too. I remember he was out, was that in Baltimore, Philly, or someplace? And uh, General Johanna would be out there, and he would speak, and then you would have uh, the um, ICGJC out there. But they would kind of be walking around because they had they had bigger numbers. They had the biggest the biggest Israelite group out there was the ICGJC, and he used to kind of walk around and where uh, Yohanna was speaking. You know, I took it as them intimidating Yohanna, and Yohana, I remember Yohanna saying, "You ain't gonna stop me from teaching black people that they're Israelites or whatever." He said, "He said e, you got to kill me," but then his you know, his thing got big, our thing got big, IUIC's thing got big, GOCC's thing got big. And um, so we all teach, we teach, we go against each other. You know, we, I do a video, they do a counter, we do another counter. But the main subject, I'm not gonna make this long at all, the main subject because this is the, 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 the last prophecy before the uh, destruction comes. See, you got, you got certain men in, in different Israelite camps, the former one Westers, that uh, they'll see something in the Russian war. Oh, we're going we're gonna to be out of here. We might be out of here in six months. I, nope, you're not going to be out of here in those six months because the, the, um, the MOTV has to take place and we keep doing videos on it. So the, the men that came up on the GMS, they were lame and they were blind, but they were part of the elect. So if you if you was to if you was to uh let's let's use Yashawamba, Elder Yashawamba out of Dallas, Texas. If he was to get with the ISUPK, he'd be doomed. Or the, I, uh, the IUIC, he'd be doomed. But I believe if, if he's one of the elect, which I believe he, he is, hopefully elect, I'll say, he would he would uh, say, nah, this, nah, I'm not feeling the way he broke this down. I'm not. But as a matter of fact, guess what? It was uh, Yashawamba. And element, which is uh can't even say it, remember his Hebrew name, Amashabayala, I believe it was. It was them two that kind of met each other. And then uh Ariala and his brother um and his brother, oh damn, what was his what's his name? Uh Zion or Sabalawan. Damn. But show, show me that brother. He's a cool, cool brother. Um, Ariala's brother, you know, me meeting him. Very, very good, very cool brother. You know, very likable brother. You know, I kind of miss him. But um, they all said that they started with IUIC because that was kind of getting big, you know. They had the graphics and all that. But they said that. They said it in the video. They said, look, we started with the IUIC, but we saw that the spirit Something wasn't right with the IUIC, and then we went to the G to GMS. So let me read these two scriptures. I was I was eyes to the blind, and then 
feet was I to the lane. So all these guys, before they came in the, to the GMS, the circle of GMS, uh, they were lame. They were blind. They were lame. They didn't have, that's why they needed us. So it says here in uh, 2 Samuel 5, verse 8, let's see what that says. And David said on, on that day, whosoever getteth up to the gutter and smiteth the Jebusites and the lame and the blind, that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, the blind and the lame shall not, shall not come into that the house. So that's a spirit. That's a physical thing that that actually happened. Happened. You do this particular act, you're gonna be a captain. I'm gonna raise you up. Well, that's a spiritual thing. It says, where, wherefore, they said the blind, spiritual blind, and the lame, spiritual lame, shall not come into the house. What house? Sp spiritual, spiritual speak, spiritually speaking, the house of truth. The house of truth. Uh, uh, Song of Solomon 8, starting from the first verse. I'm not going to go to it. But it says something to the effect of, I will, I will, I will bring you, bring you into my mother's house and you will suck my mother's breast. Well, that's the lame, oh, the thou, well, my brother, that sucked the, the breast of my mother. I will kiss thee. No more. I will, I will give you spice wine. What does that all represent? It represents the truth. The mother represents the truth. The breast represents the scriptures, the knowledge. The fact that Solomon said, I will kiss thee, meaning I'm going to, through my mouth, I'm going to give you this truth. I'm going to break down the whole book to remember. Remember, if you only have 95% of the truth and you don't know the rest of it or you're teaching differently, the, the last 5%, you don't have the truth. You have to have the whole truth. And I always go to the scripture, I always quote it. Not go to it all the time, but Ezekiel the third chapter, eat this roll and go in and teach the sons of Israel. The roll is the scriptures. And you got to eat the whole roll. You got to eat your vegetables, your veggies. Your mom just say, don't eat, you eat everything off of that plate. But you, and you just have you sit there, you say, you ain't moving until you eat everything. You got the string beans, you don't want to eat it. You eating it, you crying. <laughs> So it's the same thing with the book. So if you don't have 100% truth, if you don't know every aspect of the, of the scriptures, then you're, then you're blind. And that's, guess what? What does it say in the New Testament? If the blind lead the blind, they shall both what? Fall into a ditch. Uh, let's go to uh, Psalms 146 and 8. Like, I don't know what scriptures popped up. I, I didn't proofread these. Uh, yeah, how open if the eyes of the blind. And now when your eyes are open, you can see everything. There's a song. I don't know the name of the group. Pascal Bar to give you the name of the group. But it's the song The song is, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. What's an obstacle? An obstacle is a stumbling block. So you, you stumble over that stumbling block because you don't see the stumbling block before you. Remember, it was uh, prophesied that John the Baptist was going to be, was going to clear the, the highways of the stumbling blocks. So, you know, you might be running a race, as the scriptures say, and you're running, and then you don't realize the last hundred yards, there's a stumbling block that you don't see. And guess what? You're going to stumble and fall. And then the guy that was supposed to be second place, he's going to win because he sees a stumbling block before him. It says, Yahweh openeth the eyes of the blind. Yahweh raises them that are bowed down. Uh, Yahweh loveth the righteous. The righteous are the elect. If you're one of the elect, the most is not going to give you a lie. The Lord will do nothing, but he will reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. 
what, do, what does he mean by that? All the secrets, all the secrets, not, not all his secrets, but all the secrets that you're supposed to get. And what are the secrets? The Lord ain't whispering in your ear these secrets. It's in the scriptures. He gives you the, he opens up your eyes. He, he, um, the scriptures in Revelation speak about eyes, sounds that thou can see. And you can't see, you, you got to see what they call 2020 vision. You got to see 100%. So a person get older, he can't see too well. He has to bring the, he had to get a magnifying glass and uh, he had to look at it, you know. But yeah, I, when this, when the most high is dealing with you, your eyes are supposed to be totally open. Let's go to this scripture. Isaiah 42, verse 16, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. And we were all blind, so he's bringing us a way that we know not, which is what? The fact that we're the Israelites. We are the people of the scriptures. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them. What is, what is, what is meant by darkness? See, like certain Jakes that can't see this whole Israelite thing, it's darkness to them. And the most High put that darkness to them. You show them the 12 tribe sign. Oh, the 12 tribe sign is a fake sign. Uh, you got certain Jakes in the comedic community. Oh, Israelites never existed. They're nothing but Canaanites. You got people thinking that the small hats are the real, are the real people. Well, you got Sephardic Jews, which are dark. I met a lot of Sephardic Jews, and if they didn't say nothing, because they got a little accent, if they, I met a, a bunch of Sephardic Jews, and guess what? They look like Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, and some of them look like Jake. You mistake them for being a Jake, or a Puerto Rican, or a Dominican, or one of the Latin tribes. Then you got the Israelis. There's a difference between the small hats, the so-called Europeans, that went to Israel. Because what did you have over there before the small hats went over there, the European so-called white Jews? You had the Israelis. And the Israelis just look, look, like, look just like Palestinians. That's why Palestinians, if they have bombs on them, he's walking down the street and they mistaken him for Israeli because they, they don't speak Hebrew. And they'll blow shit up. And they thought it was an Israeli, but it really was a Palestinian. So all this stuff about anti-Sem, because you're coming against the European Jews, there's more dark, dark-skinned Jews than white Jews. Um, it says darkness. It says, I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Not forsake who? The elect. Hear ye deaf and look ye blind that ye may see. The whole picture. Bring forth blind people that they have that, they, that have eyes and deaf that they have ears. So that means that their blindness can be healed and their deafness can be healed. And we were all blind. Or oh, going back to the origins of us going on YouTube. You didn't have a whole lot of these different groups out there. These different groups that just popped up with a 12 tribe sign that never been a part of one West. And if we had never went IUIC, GMS, uh, GOCC, uh, um, HOI, because they were in the beginning too, because while we was out there speaking on 34th Street, they was up on, you know, 44th Street. Um, so we came on the scene 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009. If we never came out 
on YouTube, you would never have none of these groups. These, the spirit wasn't going to jump on these groups and just make them go out. All these other groups that never was a part of One West, they saw the videos. And some of them said, oh, I'm going to get with one of them groups right there. I'm going to get the IUIC or whatever. I'm going to get with GMS. Or I'm going to get with this group. Or I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to get a t-shirt and put fringes on it. And make a sign and get some other brothers together. And we're going to pretty much follow you know, the One West lead, but we're going to take a little bit from IUIC. We're going to take a little bit from GMS. We're going to take a little bit from over there. Um, Isaiah 59, verse 10. We grope for the wall like the blind. What is a wall? It's a support. So we all grope for the wall because we're looking for truth, right? And we found it. And you guys found it. And, and, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday. Noonday is when the sun is high. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't see any, you should, you should see all stumbling blocks. So the noonday is here. The truth is here. But if the most high didn't open your, up your eyes, I don't give a damn how, how light it is. You have to have eyes to see that work. As in the night, we are in the desolate places as dead men. And that's, and that's this place, Babylon. See, we can clearly see that this place is going to be destroyed. There's going to be a third world's war, and this place is going to be utterly destroyed. We see it like, like you see the sun come up. It says the blind receive sight, right? The blind receive sight, their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. So this is physical. You had lame people that the Lord healed. You had blind people that the Lord opened up their eyes. <laughs> Lepers were cleansed, deaf, the deaf heard. And it didn't say the poor became rich. It said the poor have the gospel preached to them. So what is this talking about in a spiritual sense? It's talking about blind to, the, to what the Bible is talking about. That's why these Christians can't get it. And you go, you go into the word reincarnation. Man, reincarnation is not biblical. What you talking about? What you talking about? Then when you go to explain it to them, and they can see it, their logical mind can see it, but this, but they, but they've been in the church so long that they're gonna they're gonna push it away. Just like Vocab Malone, we went, me and him went back and forth on the reincarnation thing, and we can clearly see it. He agreed that John the Baptist is Elijah, but he said, but in Luke, it says something different. So he he he. You know, he he told taught him south, south not to believe it. And plus he's a heathen anyway, until he proved otherwise. But anyway, I'm not gonna read no more of these precepts. I'm gonna let me see if I can find it. Bear me for a minute. Bear me for a minute. Let me X this out. Bear me for a minute. Okay, let me see what this is all about. Okay, I don't want that. We already covered that. Let me do it this way. Okay. 
want to really do this. Can do it this way. I'm going to go into this and then I'm going to cut it short. <clears throat> Hope you double didn't take this video down. I doubt it. Okay, here it is right here. So I want you to listen to this. See now, these I don't know these none of these guys' faces. I I would say they're young, they're relatively young men. I would say that they. Okay, okay. So I know who they're down with. They're part of uh, uh, this guy, uh, the brother from out in New Jersey. They they followed them, which what is it? Why F Y W whatever the lot the, the logo is right here. These guys came up under them, which those guys came up under us. Meaning they followed us because they came out to the camps alone. My name is this. I'm over in my own camp. Blah blah blah. But they would kind of be cool with other camps and do unity camps. So they're following, what the hell is this guy's name? Anyway, so they're, fo they're following them. They're not following the original teachers of, the, of, of uh, One West. So there's a lot of confusion. Even, even uh, yeah, um, Gabal Yahawad said that he did, I was watching the video. He said, you got so many different camps out here. You got so many, you got like, you know, 150 different camps out here with just different names. And every camp teaches something different. So now I know why they teach it the way that they teach it, because they've been indoctrinated to, to believe that uh, the MOTB is not physical. It's, it's a spiritual thing. So I want you to listen. I'll say a few words, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to close it. So it says, okay, uh, WFI is destroy for the lack, you might just say, of knowledge about the MOTB. Now, this guy, he makes a statement, and he's talking about us. He's not mentioning GMS, it's obviously, because the, the number, if you ask a question, what's the number one group that keeps going into the MOTB? they're gonna immediately say GMS. And why is that? Because that's the truth. It has to go out, it has to, it, the, the most I keeps, keeps this going through the same thing, same thing over and over, because that's about ready to hit. And a lot of these guys are gonna wind up taking it because they're following their blind leaders. If the blind lead the blind, they show what, they show both fall into a ditch. Now I want you to listen to what this guy said. He's gonna, he gonna kind of go into it then he's going to use his logical mind to to say to 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 uh you know to go against it because he said you mean to tell me this man there's a there's billions of people they're going to do a billion procedures on people they're going to stick things in them you think they're going to do that you think they got the money you think they're going to waste the money to do that well my question is my response is this what when they when they came out with the vaccines right. What if everybody said, what if 100% of the people on the earth said, we're going to take it? Do you think that, well, I can't get, I'm sorry. We, we ran out, we go running low. We didn't know all of y'all were going to take it. No, they would have, everybody would have, if, 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 if 8 billion people said we wanted it, they would have had the, they would have had the uh, machinations for all 800, 8, 8 billion. Seven billion, eight billion people. 
there's never been a time you get I, I, when I remember when it, people were fucking lining up at certain places, and the line would be for all all day. There'll be like a long line. I ain't, I ain't never seen the one say, "Look, we ran out of the the, the snake venom." And you could come back next week. We're very sorry. No, everybody that lined up, they got them in there. Boom, boom, boom. And we don't even know how. And the government said it's it's free because the government's paying for it. And what's really going on? The government's giving the uh, the pharmaceutical companies. I don't know how much the shot is. It could be one hundred thirty-five dollars times um times ten million. So the pharmaceuticals are getting richer. And they're kicking back something to politicians. So people can't see through that. They can't see through that. Like I said, if everybody lined up, and let's just deal with America. There's 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 over there's about 350 million people in America plus. If everybody lined up in the different places to get to get the uh, the jump shot. They would never say, oh, we ran out of it. And if they did, they, you know what they do? Oh, we ran out of it. But if you go three blocks down, there's another site over there where you can get it. They, didn't, they haven't, they never turned, there's never been a news thing where they turn people away, according to my knowledge. And if they did, they'd say, we'll come back tomorrow. We're going to have a fresh, fresh million batches tomorrow. So do they have the technology and the wherewithal to give everybody the uh, the jump, the snake venom? Okay, so I want you to listen to this guy, and then I'm going to close. Listen up. And this is why I open it up with the blind, like him. He's blind. He's blind. He should. What he should have did was he started with GMS, but not so much GMS, but men like Yasha Wamba, and he was part of. Uh, a group chat thing. So he was he was learning of the men that are, are currently men of GMS, elders and teachers of GMS. But then somehow he got with the, the ISUPK. And guess what? He's gonna go by what the heads tell him to go to, to, to do. You know, if he, if they say the so-called MOTB is not a physical thing, it's a spiritual thing, it's the embargo, whatever it is, he's gonna go with go with it. Now he's good with the scriptures. He's good with the scriptures. Most, if I listen to him, I listen to him. Most of the time, I'm shaking my head. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, they're get down, you know. But then there's certain things he's not um, privy to by the Most High. Most High blinded him, just like the Most High blinded these guys. And then the reckoning is going to come when they actually set it up. When they actually set it up, some I would guess similar to the way they set up the snake venom. You're gonna have a lot of people taking it because the way they're gonna the way they're gonna spice it up, they go, the way they're gonna spice that shit up. That's why everybody was oh man, I gotta go get it because they spiced it up for you on the news. They had examples of people that didn't take it. See, they had mercy. If he would have took it, he'd have still been alive. So they scared. My wife even said that. I told her not to do it. She said, "I'm with it." Then she's watching the news, and three weeks later, I'm gonna go take it because I don't want to die. I said, "Bitch, shut the fuck up." You ain't going to die. But uh, anyway, let me let you listen to this, and I'm going to close. You got to do a whole damn video, you know what I'm saying, and speak on other brothers because you don't want to address them to really see the entire matter and accept the entire matter. You hear us say one thing that's a mark of the beast spiritual, and you run off with that. Well, brothers, can we at least show through the precepts why, we say, why we're saying that? Are you going to allow us to do that? Or are you just going to say that if we see that the mark of the beast is spiritual, right, that we're all sent for damnation, so we're going to... You're damn right. If you take it, if you take the physical karagma, you are set for damnation. And we don't, we don't do a whole video. We do videos upon videos upon videos. This week, we did a whole bunch of videos. So you're giving us pushback. Here we're trying to, we, we're trying to lead the blind and the lame and you don't want to be led. No, I want to be blind. I want to be led. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And he's speaking with pride. And he wasn't part of the One West. 
He wasn't part in the nineties. He was a, he probably wasn't even born. These guys are young men. And how they got this whole thing set up with the readers. And then you got the sign. They didn't get it from the, the heads of this group. Uh, 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 WFI. They got it from following them because them, they followed us. These other groups that came out of nowhere, they followed us. They got the they got this t-shirts with the fringes on it. They made a sign. And a lot of these guys don't even know all the scriptures. Yeah, that certain camp is GMS. And I'm glad you said a certain camp. I'm glad you said that. Kudos to you, brother. I'm glad there's a certain camp, right? Because who's known for pushing out the MOTB? The scriptures on that. What's the camp that they do it to ad nauseum? Look that up. Ad nauseum. Sakari knows it, but they don't really push it like they supposed to push it. They supposed to jump on our bandwagon. Maybe they don't believe it no more. I don't know. Maybe they question it. I don't know. But we know what camp is talking about. You should have just said GMS. You should just said GMS. But I want you guys to keep that same energy when they set up them, them Karagma stations. I want you to keep that same energy uh, and go ahead and take it and to prove that the, the, the MOTB is really spiritual. It's not physical. So I'm going to, well, this, this man said, he said, I don't need to take it in one video, but then he, about, I don't know, about six months later, a year later, he said, I'm going to take it to, to let, to let you know, I'm not scared. What, what, what do you mean scared? See you GMS guys are scared of needles. Yeah. You got damn right. We're scared of needles. Especially that needle, especially the needle that's coming. But I want you to keep that same energy when they when they set up them stations. I want you to keep that same energy. I did a script uh, a, a video yesterday about the uh, it was uh, it was uh, uh, Revelation twenty verse twenty verse four. It said that they didn't worship the beast and they didn't worship the image and they didn't take the MOTB and they would be and they were beheaded and they would be beheaded so some of us are going to face death guess what kill my ass because I'm gonna come back anyway you're really not doing the work because we, because part of work is that we all speak the same thing if you're teaching Edom, Edomites can make it, which y'all not, which y'all not. But if you're teaching, oh, GOCC teaches Edomite can make it. Are they all brothers? Nope. Who is my, who is my mother? Who is my sister? Who is my brother? That, who is my brother? Who is my sister? Them that do the will of the father, which is the whole book, which, which is eat the whole roll. So if you're teaching, so you're going to, if people listen to you, they're going to be damned because they're following you. And we got it. That's why, look. IUIC changed the story. Other groups have changed the story. It means this and it means that. We kept it, we kept it the same way. We kept the same energy. We bring it back some. So now at the end of the day, why don't they, why can't they see it? Because the most high didn't open up their eyes to see it. The most high opened up their eyes to see certain things, like the old testament only Israelites. The most high opened up their eyes to see that they were Israelites, but they don't see the Messiah, they don't see the New Testament. They don't see none of the prophecies, which most of the prophecies is in the Old Testament. So if you're not, if I did another video um, or the same video yesterday about being written in the book of life. And the people that are written in the book of life are the elect. Not all Israel are going to be written in the book of life. So if you're not written in the book of life, that means you're not of the elect and you're not going to make it. And you're going to die on this side and then you're going to have to come back in the kingdom as newborn babies. So they need to, they need to, they need to change. They need to get away from uh, WFI because he's just regurgitating what he learned from them guys. That those guys came up under us, under uh, 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 HOI, under 
they, they oh Sakari they did the the, the uh, what do you call it the uh, unity camps and then when they do the unity unity camp and Sakari's there Sakari is supposed to tell them look the GMS is correct the MOTB is what they say it is and then he would say I would te I teach the same thing and you you Deacon the car you need to start teaching that more you need to you need to jump on this bandwagon man. You need to jump on this bandwagon and start teaching people. Because he said that, that one camp, he didn't say them, them five camps. Because you know who else believes it? Uh, the HODC, but they don't teach it. There's not no not one video on it. Um, and I checked. The uh the Zakari, they know that they teach it the way we teach it, but they don't put videos up on it. So that's why he said that one camp. Let's listen to it again. Yeah, you're going to end up being killed is correct. That ain't risk rich and death on our brothers. And first of all, you're not our brothers because we're not teaching the same thing. That you all speak the same thing, which is the, the will of the Father. You got to follow our lead. We we were in this before you got any of you guys were born. I, I came into this thing before when your when your parents were kids. All right. Right, that we're all sent for damnation, that we're gonna end up being killed. Because that's what these brothers say. That's what this certain camp is saying. Certain camp, we already know he should have said GMS, because we are we already know everybody else knows. Sakari knows, uh, this group knows. I that certain camp. That certain camp. Why do you guys think teach that the, this place is going down by uh, ICBM missiles? Because you got it from one west. You got it from us. If we didn't come out first back in, you know, 2006, 2007, 2008, y'all wouldn't have been around. You ought to have been do doing whatever, whatever the hell you was doing, snatching purses, being a stick-up kid, selling drugs, being a rapper, a boxer, whatever. Well, that's madness, right? You wish to death to find your own brother, right? That's doing the work, man. That's said the Lord, right? Now, it says, Lord, you have to literally surgically have a surgery to have the chip implemented in your right hand and in your forehead. So right here, he's explaining it away. You have to have a chip this big procedure. Well, guess what? Let's go back to the snake venom. Go back to the jump shot. Didn't you have people waiting on long lines getting it? They never turn anybody away. And it's free. And matter of fact, hold up, man. They were saying if you got it in New York, you got tickets to the to the to the uh the, the Knicks games. You got cheeseburgers. You know? You, you, you hit the lotto, you know, things started coming, you know, you, you got free shit with it, man. Do you think that he saw giving out free surgery? He gave, did, did he give out free snake venoms? He gave out snake, how many snake venoms did he give out? Huh? It gotta be, yeah, I, don't, I would say 80% of this country, so we're talking, uh, over 200 million people got it. And how many people got it around the world? We're talking about a couple billion people got it. Billions of people got it. So yes, he, he can do it. He did it with the snake venom. He's going to do it with this thing. And even more so. If everybody here in America, man, is forced to take this shit, do you know this place is overly populated? So you're telling me that there's going to be billions and billions of surgeries and procedures that are done where they're going to cut open, right, put the chip in there, and sew it back up. Rich or poor, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say sew it back up. When you watch, you got these tattoo artists. What they do is they put it in you, and they put a Band-Aid on you, and you can watch it. It's actually on video. You got tattoo artists that get certifications in Sweden, all right? That you have the guy sit down, 
and they'll put the thing in you. Then they'll wipe the little blood on on you, and they put a bandaid on you. And the guy would the the, the the guy would say, "Oh, was that easy?" They don't have to sew you back up. It, the, the the wound closes back up. It's a small incision in your skin. It's not no okay. We got to sew them back up. There's nothing to sew back up. It closes. It closes in, and it, it becomes a part of you. Like I said, keep that same energy when they set them those uh, snake snake venom uh, stations up. Keep that same energy, all right? Money, if they force that on everybody. Because poor people, right, they're going to charge for these things. Poor people is not going to have the money to get some type of water. The poor people have the money. To, the poor people, did they charge poor people for the snake, ven snake venom? And what were they put? What, what were those politicians pushing out? They were saying the main people that have to get it. Uh, they, they said it: blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos. They just mentioned the three, the, the, the twelve tribes. So, do they know something? I'm sorry, they like that. Because you're going to see that this is going to the spiritual. Again, I'm not saying that the chip doesn't exist. It exists. I'm not saying that it's not going to be used, right, for control, for population control. But it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. So right now. So he just admitted that they are going to use it. These guys are blind. Look, these guys are blind. They don't know what's going on. He just admitted that they are going to use it. Let me, let me bring that back. That's the spirit blinding you. So the, you wake up, you start to wake up, and then the most I give you another sleeping pill. Again, I'm not saying that the chip doesn't exist. It exists. Years ago, they wouldn't say. Now, now uh, the head, the head of uh, IUIC is saying that yeah, there's a digital system, and they are going to be chips, but it's not the mark of the beast. It's spiritual. Like I said, keep that same energy. Use, right, for control, for population control. That's why they're setting it up. They're setting it up to control for population control. Control, because this this snake venom venom was a kill off a certain amount of people, and people are dropping dead left and right. Oh, there's a big thing um with this guy, uh, Elon Musk. He said he got it a couple of times. At first, he was against it. Then he got it. And then he said, there's one article where he said, or there's a bunch of articles of him saying that he almost died when he took the second one. But it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. So right now, the mark of the beast right now is spiritual. But right now, it's... Okay, so that means you got it. That means you got it. All these guys have got it, because I'm pretty sure you didn't make this jacket. You didn't make that jacket. You didn't make this here. You know, you got it from the Arabs, all right? You got it stuff from Muslim. He got it from the Arab store and sold it to you. Everything that you wear when you go and eat something, you're going to have to buy it. So that means you guys have it. So are you admitting that you have it? He's saying that it's here now, the spiritual part. Well, how can you buy and sell? Anyway, let me listen to a little bit more. Wait a minute. You say, wait a minute. You just said that it's not a physical mark, but eventually, if you ain't get the spirit right, you're gonna get the physical mark. So he's speaking out of two sides of his mouth. Look, man, I'm done. I'm done. On to the next one. Hey, you know, the most the most high is gonna open the eyes of the blind, but they have to be of the elect. All right. With that, I'm going to say shalom. I'm on to the next one, Shalom.